I'm Bob Hughes. I work for Schweitzer Engineering Laboratories, and I'm here today to show you the new SCL849 motor management relay. I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to set this relay for motor overload protection using our web browser interface. First thing we need to do is power up the relay, which I've already done. Then the next step is to use an Ethernet cable to go from the relay, plug it in right here, to an ordinary Windows PC. I'm running a computer with Windows 7. Then we need to launch a web browser. You can use Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox or Internet Explorer. I'm going to use Google Chrome today. We launch the browser. We enter the IP address of the relay. And then we log in using the username password information in the quick start guide included with the relay. We are immediately taken to a basic setup screen. We need three settings to configure this relay for motor overload protection. We get those settings off of the motor itself or the motor overload relay that's already there. In this case, we look at our example motor and we see that it has a full load amperage of 78 amps. Our default is 20, so we just change the 20 to 78, type it in there. Uh, then we need to verify the service factor. Again, that's right off the nameplate of the motor. Our example motor has a service factor of 1.15, which matches the default, so we're done. And then we need to set the trip class. The trip class basically says how fast should the relay trip the motor offline in an overload condition. Um, we can often get that off of the existing electromechanical relay if there is one already. And so we've determined that our trip class is a NEMA 20. We select that, click on Submit Changes. We then need to verify on the web browser that we actually want to save those. We click on Yes. And then we get a indication right at the top from the relay that says Changes Saved, and we're done. That's how easy it is to set the SEL 849 for motor overload protection.